In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move individual array objects. When you make an array of objects with the array modifier in Blender, it makes a bunch of objects, but when I move the objects, they all move together. How can I move or rotate an individual object? The first thing to do is to apply their array modifiers. So for example, over here in the modifier tab under the blue wrench, I can click this arrow and say apply. Apply all of the modifiers that you've used for your array, and then you still can't move them individually. But you can, if you tab into edit mode, you'll notice that each of these are an individual mesh inside this object. So if I select one, and I hover my cursor, and I press L on top of it, I can press G and move it around. Then if I tab back into object mode, that one is moved. But this might be pretty cumbersome to have to tab into edit mode just to move one object and then have to use L to select all of the pieces. And it's very prone to error. So Apply. instead of moving them individually in edit mode, tab into edit mode, then right click, separate by loose parts. This will now create individual objects of all of your array objects. Apply. Tab back to object mode. And then while everything is selected, select the original object as well, press M on your keyboard, and you can make a new collection. I'll call this collection Ducks. This is Apply. not necessary to do, but it can help keep your project organized. Now if I click any of these individually, I can move them around and I can rotate them. But you may notice that they all rotate around the center, so this isn't rotating the way I expect it to because they each have the original origin. You can see that there's only one origin. Even if I select all of the ducks, all of the origin points are right here. So what you can do is select all the ducks or whatever object you have, then go to Object, Set Origin, Origin to Geometry. Now you'll notice that each of them have their own individual origins and they will move much more predictably. Now if I rotate, this duck rotates around its own origin rather than the origin of the original duck. Both can be helpful depending on what you want to do with your 3D modeling. But now you should be able to move individual array objects in Blender without having them all move together as a group. This is a great way to separate array objects from Blender and then be able to create interesting sculptures and arrangements with them. Happy 3D modeling!